everybody, how's it going? Retendo here. I'm here to talk to you about another book that I recently read and it is called What a Time to Be Alone. But I'm just going to be talking about some of the lessons that I learned from this book. Uh, one of them is that, you know, it's okay to be alone. Yes, relationships are great, but it's also okay for you to, you know, be by yourself and learn and learn who you are and just spend some time with yourself. And your worth is not defined by whether or not you're in a relationship. Because I know in some cultures, um, for example, like if you're in a relationship, you get more respect. And if you're, or if you're married, then you would if you were single. And a lot of people are under the impression that, you know, it's better to be married, to, you know, get this level of status. But really, your worth is a constant thing. Like, you are, you don't gain or lose your worth, We're, you, you know, like it's not a, it's not like a, it's not a fluctuating thing, it's more of a constant, you know what I mean? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> um, and you're never truly alone. Sometimes, you know, when you're going through something or going through a tough time, you just think, oh, you know, um, I'm, by, I'm going through all of this by myself. But really, one, there are people out there that may be going through the exact same thing that you are and that can relate to, to you, you know, and there are. And also, one thing that I learned recently is when I'm struggling, you know, my family is also struggling in their own way to try to figure out how can we help her how can we make this situation work because life has you know when life hits it and and life does not discriminate you know against and what i mean by that is it doesn't say oh you know you're retendo so you're not gonna throw this little curveball your way because your name is retendo no 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 it doesn't work that way um you're People go through stuff all the time. And I loved the proverbs that were in the book. I'm from Zimbabwe. So just hearing all those proverbs and like, I felt like it was my grandmother talking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, you know, that is how she speaks. She speaks in, you know, proverbs and like, oh, you know, don't do this because yada, 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 A, B, C, D. So that was, that was one thing that I, absolutely loved about it and it just shows how uh the author of the book respects her culture and that is something that I strive to do on a, a daily basis um and life is what you make of it really like it's not there's this quote I forget um how to like give it to you verbatim but she did say that that life is you know, like, like your situation doesn't change, but you do. That's, I'm not sure if that's exactly how she said it, but that is what I got out of the book. And be proud of who you are. Like, you know, you're just a phenomenal human being and we all deserve to be proud of how far we've come, the things that we've overcome, the things that we will overcome in the future. We have to embrace all of that. And perception is everything so how you see life is one of the most important things ever because i could be sitting here like oh my life is over da, da, da. or i could say okay what can i learn from this situation? which is similar to the other point that i made where it says that you know life doesn't change it's you do and how you see the world and yeah so those are some of the I think I believe I said six things that I really liked about this book and I'm it's one of those books that you literally put like I have it as an audiobook and I try to listen to it like I think you I, you can I finish it in two days and then I give myself a little bit of time so I can read it again so that that it's one of those books and it's definitely worth the read so anyways, thank you. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.